So here's a video nobody asked for, but you're getting anyways. I'm going to show you how to take golf balls and turn them into air cannon ammunition for an air cannon that doesn't actually fit golf balls. So for the first step of this process, we need to remove the plastic shell from the inner core of the golf ball itself. The easiest way I've found to do that is to clamp it down to some type of vise in between two pieces of soft lumber like pine and hacksaw a groove all the way around it to the inner core of the golf ball. So with the groove cut, the next thing we need to do is actually begin separating the outer shell from the inner shell. Um, this part's honestly usually the trickiest. But what you need is a flathead screwdriver that you don't particularly care about and begin prying Hopefully y'all can see. Shoving it in the groove you created, going around, and slowly prying up. This will begin to peel the two sections away and allow us to actually get underneath there to separate it. Kind of like peeling some type of strange fruit. Until you can get the screwdriver underneath like that. All the way around. That's what you're looking for. Uh, be careful not to stab yourself in the hand. I've done it. Patience is the biggest thing to keep in mind while trying to do this. If you try to rush it, move too quickly, that's when you stab yourself in the freaking thumb. Which again, I've done. I never claim to be a genius. And just like that, it's one half of a golf ball peeled away. You don't have to worry about taking chunks of this stuff out because we're going to sand down the outside enough to where it won't matter anymore. Alright, I'm going to get this other half off. And with a little bit of work, you now have the plastic and very annoying coating off of your golf ball. This is what the inside of a golf ball looks like without doing any adjustments, and yes, it does still bounce. Now for the next bit, you need your air cannon barrel and a sharpie, so we can mark the parts that we need to shave down at, like so, so we can get this thing to fit as tightly as possible. So, I'm gonna do both sides. Does not have to be exact. Just has to be close enough. And everything in between those two lines must go. Now in order to shape this thing and shave it down, you could sand it by hand. You could cut pieces off. You could break out the Dremel and do that by hand. None of those seem to suit me though and I found the way that is honestly much easier. You need a drill and a bolt with a hex or square head. First thing you need to do is drill a hole into the center to receive the bolt for yeah for something. I have no clue what I'm talking about. That hole's not going to be big enough. It's cool. I got a bigger drill bit. So with your hole drilled ready to receive your bolt, you're just going to get your bolt inside. That's stupid. With your hole drilled, chuck your screw into your drill and then insert it into your golf ball. Try not to hurt yourself in the process. 
Make sure it's tight fitting, like that. Now for the fun bit. Take your wood rasp and secure it in place to a table of some sort. Take your golf ball drill combo, power it up, and begin shaving it down. If it doesn't shave, you're going the wrong direction. Change direction. And keep going until your pencil lines are gone. And just like that, stop and check periodically to make sure it fits your cannon. Oh, still a little fat there in the middle, so we gotta get rid of that. Perfect fit every time. And just like that, you have one golf ball that fits in your cannon that's been shaved down and little to no time at all. Well, anyways, that's all I have for the day. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe.